Greetings, Cyberdogs and citizens of the internet. This is Red Dog coming at you from episode 12 of this Let's Play Hearthstone series. In the previous episode, we managed to defeat for ourselves another human opponent. And in this episode, my friends, we're going to be playing one more opponent to try and get our hunter up to level 10. If we have a look at our current quest logs, we need to level up to get any class to level 10. And our hunter class is currently on 9. So we are literally one game away from leveling this bad boy up. Then we've also got a couple of other quests here. Destroy them all. Destroy 40 minions. Beat down. Deal 100 damage to enemy heroes so uh, these two quests are currently in the works as well as the level up quest which is so sweet and guys this is going to be the final battle that we are going to play before we head into the arena in the next episode so i am super super excited about that but i am even more excited about leveling up our hunter let's head over to our cyber dog hunter's deck so i can show you guys a couple of changes that i've made um most notably here i have added core hounds and tundra rhinos into the deck so that we can get the most out of our beast synergies i've also added bloodfen raptor into the deck but um, I'm not entirely sold on adding both Bloodfen Raptors. I kind of think that we should have one Acidic Swamp Ooze just in case we come up against a hero with a, an equipment that we can't deal with. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to split that up between one Bloodfen Raptor and one Acidic Swamp Ooze. And you know what? This deck is looking pretty good now. We've got a couple of interesting removal spells. Um, we've got the, our explosive trap up in there. And we also have our deadly shot, which is what we picked up in the previous episode, which destroys a random in enemy minion. And I'm pretty happy with the deck as it is now. Uh, what I would like to do is get another one of those trap cards, because that trap card looks absolutely freaking sweet. Looks like we're going to be able to do a lot of board clearing with that card, which is exactly the kind of thing that I'm looking for, man. But looks like like we've got another chance here to play a ranked battle which is so sweet and we're going to be finding opponent uh, an opponent of equal skill level and uh, i really enjoyed the previous game actually although it wasn't very close um i think that our opponent was perhaps quite new to the game maybe it was his first time playing uh maybe he hadn't spent as many as many or well, as much time as we have perfecting our hunter deck um on his giant deck but let's have a look Rexa at who we're playing now versus Rexa. Our opponent for today is Vonderwaffe. <laughs> and this is going to be a mirror match, a hunter versus hunter mirror match, which it looks pretty sweet. Um, I haven't played the mirror match yet, uh, but let's have a look at how this is going to turn out. I actually really like this hand. We've got a great curve here. Turn two River Crocolisk into an Iron Fur Grizzly into a Hound Master that's going to pump either the Croc or the Grizzly. Uh, the Grizzly. So you know what? I'm not going to swap out any cards here, man. I'm loving that hand. I'm going to hang on to that one. Uh, let's see what old Wonder Waff has got for us over there on that side of things. Um, we just drew a Tundra Rhino, which fits perfectly into our curve. So at five mana, we'll be able to drop this bad boy. But at one mana, we've got nothing to do. Uh, so let's pass the turn over to Wonder Waffer. And let's see if he's got any better hunter cards than we have. Um, we're both level 25, both chickens. Oh, and by the way, it, this is the new season, I think. I think um, that what happens is that uh, the ladder resets every month, I think. I don't know if it's every month or every season. I'm not sure how long a ladder season is, but we're all the way back to the bottom, level 25. And of course, we want to try to get to as close to level 1, which is the best you can get as possible. So he's coming at me with a Timberwolf, which gives all of his other beasts plus 1 attack. That's pretty good. Uh, but I think I'm just going to drop my Crocolisk, man. There's a 2-3 looking at a 1-1. One, one. So I'm, I'm all happy with that, man. And let's say hello to old Wonder Wolf over there. Greetings, Greetings friend. Traveler. And let's have a look. Now, the problem with this little wolf, even though it's a 1-1, one, one, he's, he's got a coin. Oh, my goodness. So he's going to be able to drop a turn 2 animal companion that's going to have charge also. Oh, no. It doesn't have charge. It gets plus 1 attack. All right. So that's pretty freaking good, man. He got Leok, uh, which gives other friendly minions plus 1 attack. So he's pumping up his own wolf, and the wolf is pumping up his Leok. So that's some pretty intense jazz going on over there, man. Damn! Damn! Right, well, let's have a look. What can we actually do over here? We've got a taunt minion to play um, this turn. That could be the answer to our problems over here. Although, <clears throat> he's coming at my face. He's coming at me with... Um... You know what? I, th I think because I can take the Timberwolf out with a Crocolisk without losing the Crocolisk, I'm going to take out the Timberwolf. 
That's gonna drop the power of his Leoc, and I'm gonna play my 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 Iron Fur Grizzly too. There we go. So now the Iron Fur Leoc cannot kill the Grizzly because I got rid of that freaking um, that thing that I just killed. What did I just kill? The Timberwolf, that's it. So let's pass the turn. We've got a Crocolisk and uh, an Iron Fur Grizzly in play. So uh, Wonder Waff is going to have to do something pretty epic to get rid of both of these creatures. Of course, he is playing Hunter's Card. And he plays an Iron... Man, this thing is pretty sweet. Deal one damage to something. Yeah, that's pretty good, man. All right, let's have a look. Is he going to come in with his 2-4? Two two nope, does not look like it. Alright, so what we can actually do here is play our Houndmaster, pump our, our uh, Iron Fur Grizzly to a 5-5 five five and get in for 5 over there. He doesn't have any taunt action going down, so I think that's exactly what I'm going to do, man. Let's uh, give this beast plus 2 plus 2 and we're going to send 5 straight to Wonder Waffer's face. Job done. And that is looking pretty good, man. We've got a 5-5, five five, we've got a 4-3 on board uh, versus a 2-4 and a 3-2. Um, and, and I've got a taunt creature in play too, so our life is is protected at the moment he is throwing an arcane shot at our grizzly though so that's not good he's still gonna have to lose a creature to come in though so that's fine by me oh no it's the freaking buzzard people it's the buzzard the buzzard is in play and uh we know what's we know what's gonna happen when the buzzard's in play right all right well i'm on five mana which means that if i can find a multi-shot i should be able to do some significant damage over here so what i think i'm going to do is play tracking uh, let's have a look at the top. Hmm. I can either play tracking looking for multi-shot or I can ju just play Tundra Rhino. The thing is, this starving buzzard is worrying me, man. We know what kind of damage this thing can do and it's pretty freaking good. Well played. So I think I'm going to play tracking. Let's have a look at the top cards. We get two companions and uh, a starving buzzard. So we've got four mana left. It looks like we're going to have to probably... We're going to have to take the Starving Buzzard here, I think. And then I think I'm just going to go at his face. I mean, if we take out the Buzzard, we lose our Houndmaster. So I'm just going to go at the face. And you know what? I'm going to cash in my own uh, Starving Buzzard by playing a Starving Buzzard and then a River Crocodile. Draw a card. What I'm really looking for is multi-shot. And there it is, baby. That is excellent. Right, so next turn, we're going to be able to get rid of, well, hopefully the Buzzard. Um, let's see how much card advantage he can generate from his own Buzzard. I mean, I think if he's smart, he should take out our Buzzard with his Leoc. But then our multi-shot's going to gain even more value. And he just played for himself a Frostwolf Warlord. That's not a beast, so that's not going to draw him a card from the Starving Buzzard. Oh, he just threw away his Starving Buzzard? Okay, well, he traded there, so that seems okay by me, I think. We just picked up another multi-shot, which is excellent. Uh, in this situation, it looks like we might be able to... We'll be able to multi-shot at the very least. So we're going to take out his Leon, take down his, uh, his Frostwolf Warlord to three, which is excellent. And then on the back of that, we'll be able to play our Acidic Swamp Ooze just as a minion, really. We'll attack him directly for two. Job's done. And that might have been a mistake, but uh, this Frostwolf Warlord needs minions in on the battlefield to actually get better. And we have another multi-shot in hand, so we might be able to take out uh, a couple of minions to make this thing even worse. Oh, you are kidding Blood. me. And plunder. You are kidding me, man. We just played our Acidic Swamp Ooze, and he's just played an Eagle Horn Bow. Whenever a secret is revealed, gain plus one to your ability. Damn, that is some good jazz right there, man. All right. So the Frostwolf Warlord's battle cry only happens when it comes to play, right? So currently it's just a 6-3. It's not going to actually get any better than that. And he is also coming straight at the face. All right, so what we can try and do here is clear his board with multi-shot, which is, which is, I think, exactly what we're going to do. So I'm going to take out the 1-1 one, one with the 3-2. I must attack the minion with taunt. Oh, wait, we got to get rid of the minion with taunt first, right? Hmm. 
Well, I don't want to throw... Okay, I'm going to play multi-shot first. Let's see what we get. Alright, so that was pretty decent. Um, I think that... I think I just want to get rid of his minions. This 6-3 is actually uh, posing quite a big threat to me. So we'll, we'll get rid of his minions. We'll play an Ironfur Grizzly in case he has any charge minions. And we'll pass the turn. We're a card ahead of him, it seems. And hopefully he's running out of gas. Although he has, is reaching... He's on 7 mana now, so he's going to have some juicy stuff to play. We're Behold, going to be able to play a Tundra wins. Rhino and then give our Bloodfin Raptor um, charge also, which is pretty good. Oh, 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 oh. oh man, this card is so good in this situation. Destroy a random enemy minion. He's only got one minion in play, so guess what, man? He's going to lose his single... Um, what is it? The, the Stormwind Champion, so that's actually really good for us. Um, yep, I'm going to deadly shot him, man. Goodbye, minion! Take five to the face! And then I'm gonna play the Tundra Rhino. And does he have charge too? Oh, he's also got charge. The Tundra Rhino is actually so good, man. So good! Oh, <laughs> that's epic. Alright, our board is looking excellent right now. We have a Taunt Grizzly in play, uh, which means he's got quite a, a lot of work to do before he can They'll actually get to us. What... This thing's got stealth, a jungle panther. It's a beast, a 4-2 beast with stealth, and I'm assuming stealth means it can't be attacked? Man, that is, that is, that is a minion that I want really badly, like real bad. Alright, so let's have a look guys, this is actually getting quite precariously close right now. Um, I'm going to play the Bloodfen Raptor, which is going to have um, charge, so that's 2, 4, 7, and nine damage with steady shot. Oh, so weak. We actually won this, man. Bam! <laughs> what an epic battle. Oh, that was absolutely epic, man. Let's just say well played. Um, and that was really, that was a sweet game right there. And damn, did we see an awesome card for the Hunter deck over there. Um, at this at this stage, guys, we should be able to get our expert pack now from that victory. So hopefully we're going to get that in a moment. Let's have a look. Level 10, I am so weak, level up so weak. And uh, we're going to head over now to crack our pack. But before we do that, guys, I just want to have a little chat um, with some of you guys out there who have been saying that um, I'm th that I've been saying that some guards cards are really good when they're actually not, and uh, that I'm a freaking Hearthstone noob. And guys, at the beginning of this series, I did say that we are going to be playing this game from beginning to end, and I'm not going to be watching any other streams. I'm not going to be watching any other people playing. I want to go from a noob to a pro in this series, and that means that uh, when I say that cards are good, I'm saying them in relation to the cards that I have seen so far in the game. So there's obviously cards out there that are amazing, but I haven't seen them yet, right? So when I say it like a Bloodfen Raptor is good, it's because I think that in relation to the cards that I've seen so far in this game, it is good but obviously there will be better cards than that coming up so um you know to, to, if, if you guys are looking for like pro hearthstone play playing if that's the kind of uh, hearthstone series you're looking for maybe this isn't quite the right series for you and there's other players out there like total biscuit and, uh, and a bunch of other guys who are doing like really good uh, pro hearthstone uh, series as i understand it but uh this series is from you know this is a noob to pro series right here guys so if you want to you know stick with me throughout the journey that's cool if you're looking for players who are perhaps uh, higher skilled who have better cards to look at then you know youtube is a huge place there's loads of loads of other hearthstone players out there for you guys to enjoy but anyway guys that is all that i wanted to say about that let's have a look at what we just won mount up Hearthsteed Mount, a special reward for your third win. Log into World of Warcraft to claim it. Oh, this is World of Warcraft uh, Mount. That's pretty sweet. And we just picked up our freaking pack. That's excellent. And we just picked up a brand new card called Kill Command. Deal three damage. If you have a beast, deal five damage instead. And that is, that is an excellent, excellent removal spell. That is an absolutely excellent removal spell. I don't know how we're going to get that into our deck, but we absolutely need to get that into our deck. Oh, but before we actually get to deck editing, guys, let's open the expert booster pack that we just picked up. Plasma Jazz of Goodness, give us some sweet hunter cards. Kabam! 
fire! <laughs> oh man, I love this this booster opening mechanism. It is so sweet. All right, let's have a look at what we got, guys. We got a Thrall Mole Farseer, a three mana two three. Uh, with Wind Fury. No idea what Wind Fury does, but that sounds pretty sweet. Let's have a look at the next card. A Stormforged Axe has Overload 1. You have X less mana next turn. That's interesting. What does Wind Fury do? Can attack twice each turn. Damn! That is good, man. 2-3 two, three for 3 that can attack twice each turn. Too bad it's not a beast. Now let's crack open this card, and that is our rare, or our mythic card, I guess. And uh, it is a Blood Knight, a 3-3 three, three for 3 mana. Battle cry, all minions lose. All minions lose what? All minions lose the divine shield. The first time a shielded minion takes damage, ignore it. Okay, I don't know what that means. Battle cry does something when you play. Oh, oh okay. The gain plus three plus three for each shield lost. Okay, so there must be uh, there must be an ability in this game called Divine Shield, and what this Blood Knight does is remove the Divine Shield, and it gives itself plus three plus three for each shield that it gets rid of. That seems pretty freaking good, um, but we haven't seen Divine Shield yet, so I'm not sure entirely sure what that's all about. Let's crack open the next card. Kapam looks like another rare, uh, a seven mana five five for the Druid. Choose one, plus five attack or plus five health and taunt. Damn. Uh, that's pretty good. We've got one more card to crack over here, guys. No hunter cards yet. And for the priest, we got a light spawn. This minion's attack is always equal to its health. Oh, that's pretty interesting. That reminds me of Doran from MTG. <laughs> oh, man, that's epic. Um, so nothing for the hunter class, I'm afraid. Although we did pick up the Strelmar Farseer. But I don't think that that's going to that's gonna make it into our deck. Uh, let's head over to our, our Slingers or our Cyberdog Hunters uh, deck over here and... Let's have a look at our new Kill Command card. This card is, seems really, really good. Uh, in the previous game, Deadly Shot was excellent at taking out uh, that 6-6 six, six that, that our opponent played. And the only slots I think that this Kill Command might be able to take up is probably Lord of the Arena. I think we could probably get rid of Lord of the Arena. Lord of the Arena is a big torn creature, but uh, the Kill Command kind of does the same thing as Lord of the Arena, and that is take out minions with like a, a sort of low life total. So I'm, pr I'm, I'm okay with dropping that, I think. And maybe, see, Hunter's Mark is really good with explosive traps. So I don't really want to get rid of the Hunter's Mark. Um, I mean, the only other thing I can think about dropping is possibly Razorfen Hunter or Silverback Patriarch. But the Patriarch's great with Taunt, and it's also great with the Houndmaster follow-up. So I don't really want to... We've already dropped down to one Patriarch, but I certainly... Oh, man, I, I want to get these... I want to get these kill commands in here, man. Deadly Shot is pretty good. I think we probably are overloaded on removal spells, though. So I think what I'm going to do is probably drop one Hunter's Mark. The reason that I like Kill Command above the other removal spells is that it has the potential to deal five damage, which is more damage than any of our other spells can actually deal. And it's a utility card, right? So that it can deal three damage to minions or it can deal three damage to, to an opponents. Well, three or five damage to minions or three or five damage to opponents. So any card that gives you more than one option, in my opinion, is actually is better than say a card that only gives you one option and i think maybe dropping down to one hunter's mark is okay uh, you know tracking helps us to sort of filter through our deck and find the cards that we need uh, and in that game i was quite impressed with bloodfen raptor to be honest with you and i'm kind of happy with keeping acidic swamp ooze at um at one in the deck in that game i didn't really feel like we needed another acidic swamp ooze uh the 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 equipment wasn't that good I think in, in games to come, I'm probably going to hang on to the Acidic Swamp Ooze in my hand, though. And I probably won't just play it, um, you know, just like willy-nilly, I guess. Uh, but anyway, guys, that is the those are the last changes that I wanted to make to our deck today. In the next episode, we are going to be heading over to the arena for the first time. And uh, I've been told by you Cyberdogs that that is some fun-ass jazz and Hearthstone. So I, I literally cannot wait for the next episode. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this episode, my friends. And GG to my opponent, Wonder Wuff. Uh, it was a fun game, was really, really close at the end there. And uh, thank you guys for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, you hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, you hit the subscribe button. Because in the next episode, we are heading into the arena. And you know what I'm going to say, my friends. It is going to be freaking sweet. Thank you so much for watching, guys. This has been Ren Diggity Dog playing Hearthstone. We'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.